the experts are actually the parents that go through the workshops. After I went through SIPL, I decided to go back to school and get my degree. We really want parents, first of all, to understand it's important for them to be involved at all levels and to feel comfortable being involved. I would have never in a million years have seen myself doing any of that had I not gained the confidence and the knowledge that I have through the, with the Pritchard Committee's help. Others just simply say it changed my life. What you're saying is very important, and it is important. They are the other half of the, of the adult that's closest to the student. The uh, Commonwealth Institute for Parent Leadership was started in 1997 and have trained uh, close to 1,500 parents now across the state. We, uh, we basically divided the state into regions and because what we wanted is for parents to be able to be, th be within hopefully about at least a two hour drive of the institute. We provided six days offered in three two day sessions uh, over about four months with about four or five weeks in between the sessions so that they have to go back to their school and do homework. We really want parents first of all to understand it's important for them to be involved at all levels and to feel comfortable being involved and we want them to be able to be effective partners not just at the sporting events or the um, academic team things or the band but also in the classroom so that they understand what their children are supposed to know and be learning at every grade level and that they're able to to watch and and be sure that's what's happening. The school systems usually don't put a lot of money into parent training just because they're focused on the student achievement. So in the last 30 years there's been a tremendous amount of research on parent involvement and parent engagement, but the schools haven't figured out yet how to harness that. This is something that that's really not been done before, actually bringing parents in for six days and giving them a professional type of training. Professional development for parents is what it is. Um, treating them like professionals, treating them that, like, you know, what you're saying is very important, and it is important. They are the other half of the, of the adult that's closest to the student. You know, you have the, the school and then you have the parent, and we need to get that person trained also so that we can improve the achievement in the schools. When I first started volunteering at my child's school, you know, it was just helping out in the classroom, attending parties, bringing supplies, that type of thing. But the more I questioned things, I was finding that I, I didn't know the answers. I couldn't find other parents that knew the answers. And the school, you know, they tried to, you know, help me along the way. But parents are given very, very little training as far as an SPDM council member. And, but you're asked to make major decisions, budgeting, personnel, um, you know, layout of the land, basically, of which classroom's going to be where and what's going to be taught. And if I had not gone through SIPL, I, there is no way as a parent I would have felt comfortable making those decisions. Because when you get on to the council, you quickly realize that it is the parent that's going to make the difference. We're not the experts. We put it together, we've done the research, but the experts are actually the parents that go through the workshops. And the networking that happens, uh, the, the questions, uh, the give and take that they all do during the, the group activities, I think is where the, the real work happens. Um, so the little presentation that we do ahead of time just sets the, sets the stage for them and they do the rest of the learning. It wasn't until someone recommended that I attend the SIPL Institute and come be trained to find all the answers that I'm looking for that I really took off and became involved. And once I did that, I stood up and said I would volunteer to be on the PTA board, which I've you know, served as treasurer, I've served as first vice president, and I've served as president on my PTA board. But then it also gave me the courage and empowered me to step up even further and serve as the parent rep on the site-based council at our school. And it was all thanks to coming through SIPL. And if I hadn't been able to do that, 
I would not have been able to make the changes that I did. Once we started working with parents in Kentucky, word began to get out of out of the state that we were doing something innovative in Kentucky. We began to get calls from interested people from all over the country wanting to know what we were doing, wanting to know how we could help them do it. So about five years ago, we created the Center for Parent Leadership to really work with other organizations outside the state. And we have now worked with people to replicate the, the full institute um, in about seven states and the District of Columbia. We have replicated it in Delaware, Florida, North Carolina, Kansas, Mississippi, Michigan, Ohio, and the District of Columbia. We discovered that we were having so many questions from around the country about the Commonwealth Institute uh, that we couldn't really respond to, that we created a separate division within the Pritchard Committee to respond. The challenge was to really create a business within a nonprofit uh, working nationally uh, with a business plan. Uh, fortunately, we found a Washington-based consulting firm that helped us do a formal business plan that do, did a feasibility study, uh, and we eventually overcame those. But it was, it was not easy to, to create that for-profit, really, culture within a, within a nonprofit organization and then put together the staff uh, who could uh, who could do that work? We help clients establish the program. We train their staff. We give them oversight. They have our materials, uh, and then they're off and running. Uh, one of the challenges is to help them keep going. We often have to help them find funding to do this work, to hire us, and to do the work uh, at home. Uh, now the question is, how do we expand that? Uh, reach more people uh, with technology, probably. Uh, and uh, how do we continue to work with those folks who are our, our friends and clients uh, around the country? I would have never in a million years have seen myself doing any of that had I not gained the confidence and the knowledge that I have through the, with the Pritchard Committee's help. What's special to us is to see the parents grow and to see them return to their schools and get involved in school-based decision-making councils or on committees, um, get involved in ways that has them really reaching out to other parents and growing in a leadership role. We've had parents come back and say, I, I didn't know I could do this, but now that I have the skills and the information, it's helped a lot. We've had other parents come back and say, you know, after I went through civil, I decided to go back to school and get my degree. Um, and we've had others just simply say it changed my life. Yeah.